Are you looking for a Volusia County property that is close to all of the state parks but far away from the Orlando traffic? Well, this is the video for you. If you are new here, my name is Michelle and I'm your Central Florida Realtor. I'm here to help you with all of your relocation needs. Today I am in the city of DeLand and we are just 40 minutes from New Smyrna Beach and we are also about 45 minutes from the Orlando area. Now this particular community is by Lancy Homes and we are looking at the Kensington Flex floor plan. So this is a great four bedroom, two bath and it's a single story home. So it's spacious, but it's not over the top, which is what I love about it. So this particular floor plan has 2,103 square feet. You also have a two car garage there. And with this particular builder, they do give you the pavers in the front included. So that is great and then you also have a really spacious backyard. What I love most about this particular community is the lot sizes are very spacious. You have 40, 50, and 60 foot lots. So for those of you that do like to have some yard space and you don't want your neighbors on top of you, you're going to love this community. Without further ado, let's go take a look at the inside of this beautiful property. All right. So as soon as we come in, you will notice that they have this flex space here, right? This is the Kensington flex. So they have this additional space up right in the front of the home, which is nice because you can actually set this up as either a second living room like they have here, or you could make this an office space since they don't have a traditional office. That's personally what I would do. Now I love the high ceilings in here. And of course they went with such modern light fixtures, which gives it that extra pizzazz in the house and you have the double windows. So it lets plenty of light in. What I've noticed with certain builders is when they do have these sort of flex spaces, they tend to be a little bit dark because they don't add enough light. So this is great in here. So this model home does have a lot of upgrades. So you do see that they put all the cool light fixtures in here and all of the designs on the walls as well. So those are all additional. Now, if you were to just get a floor plan like this, you typically just get a base price and it's in the low 400s. The more you add, the higher the price goes. So I think this is pretty cool. They did like a floating side table here. So I like it because it's easier to clean and maintain when you're mopping the floors. So that's pretty nice. And then you have a gorgeous long hallway, which is phenomenal. It's so elegant. I absolutely love this part of the house. So as we head over to the first part of the home, we're gonna see that you have a full laundry room here. So this is really cute. You do have enough space for a full washer and dryer. Now, I don't believe that these come with the property, but it's to give you an idea of the space of the laundry room in here, right? So you do have cabinet space. And of course, they absolutely love their wood decor. They did a beautiful design on the ceiling, which I absolutely love. It just gives it some elegance in here as well. So right across from the laundry room, we have the door to the garage. So this is a two car garage. So that means if you are the type of person that comes in from the garage, you're gonna come in, this is where you would land. And then it leads directly to the first bedroom here. So this is one of the smaller bedrooms. So we do have carpeting on the floor. And then of course they have the gorgeous light fixtures that they selected here, guys. Now I don't wanna trick anyone. These are more than likely not standard, but the ones in the ceilings, all of those LED lights in the ceilings, that does come with the property. So this here is a queen size bed. They do have furniture in here as well. So decent size, and then you have a closet space as well. This is not a walk-in closet, but you do have a closet in here. As we head over across the hallway here, you do have the other bedrooms and the family bath. So we're gonna take a look first at one of the other bedrooms. So this is bedroom number two. So they have this set up as a little girl's room. Again, pretty similar in size. You do have a window here that lets in plenty of light. In addition to that, the higher ceilings and the lighting, they did put a ceiling fan in here. And then again, standard size closet. So that's really nice. 
And these rooms are also spacious, but they're not ginormous. I think this particular floor plan, it gives just enough space without it being too much to maintain. As we head back over here in this little hallway area, you do have the family bath. So again, this is really cool because you have the double vanity sink here. You have the gorgeous big tile floors, and then you have a full bathtub and you have this door here that you can close so that if someone is in here showering or anything, someone can still wash their hands, brush their teeth, wash their face, whatever they need to do without interrupting the person who's using the bathroom. So that is really nice. I know with kids, it can be a little bit chaotic. That's how it is in my house. And we're gonna swing around here to see bedroom number three. Now this one is adjacent to the other two. So all of the smaller bedrooms are near each other. So this one is again about the same size, but I love the taller ceiling so that it doesn't feel cluttered. You do have enough space in here, a large window to let in light, and you also have a closet in here. So all of these bedrooms do have carpeting. I'm sure if you did not want carpet and you wanted to do an upgrade, you could do that. You just have to select that in the design center. All right, so now we're gonna step into the main part of the home. So we're going into the living room area. Now this part of the house is an open concept. So I like that it's not a completely open, like all around, you kind of have some division to the house, right? Like you have some privacy with the bedrooms and the laundry room up front, and then you get to this area here. So absolutely gorgeous concept, plenty of light coming in with the sliding doors, the windows, and of course, all of the gorgeous lighting. Now, even if you didn't do all of this beautiful lighting here, they added so much lighting all throughout to make sure that it's not dark in here, which I love. So as we head into this kitchen, you will see that it's a gorgeous, large island. I absolutely love that. You have pantry space, you have beautiful 42 inch cabinets, and it has all of the hardware. So great amount of storage in here. And then you also have the deep barn style sink. So very elegant, very classy, and of course spacious, which is the most important. And I think it's great also that you can be here and you can look out onto the family room, you can look out onto your dining area so that you're still involved and you're still in the center of your home. So right here, we step into the little dining area, which is really nice. It's adjacent to the kitchen. You have enough space for a full size table and you have all of that lighting coming in. So for those of you that do like to sit down and have a meal with the family, you can. And if you don't want to, there's plenty of counter space as well, which leads out into this open space. So I love this open concept here. And then of course this leads out into your backyard. And let's not forget, we're gonna take a look at the primary bedroom. So now we're gonna check out the primary bedroom. And I love this split floor plan because the primary is in the back of the house, nice and private and really spacious. They made this just extremely comfortable. This is a king size bed just for reference so that you can see like how much space you have. Then you have the double panel windows here which let in plenty of light. And of course the taller ceilings and all of the lighting features. Now my, my favorite part about this is just that right now you have the 40, 50 and 60 foot lot. So you have space and right now it's just looking out into the backyard. It's peaceful and it's quiet. Now we're gonna check out the bathroom. So this bathroom is really unique in regards to new construction because not only do you get the double vanity sink and of course the tile floors and everything in here, but you actually get the extra feature of having a bathtub and the stand-up shower. So a lot of times builders aren't including the bathtubs anymore. So that's pretty nice that you're able to have that here so that if you do wanna take a bubble bath and you do wanna light your candles and have a glass of wine, you can relax in here. And if you're not a bath person and you just wanna take a shower, you have that as well. So right over here, you do have the water closet. So this is nice because you know you can close the door if someone needs to go in while someone else is showering. Over here to my right, you do have a walk-in closet. So that is inside of the bathroom here and you do have air conditioning and everything so that things don't get musty. Let's go check out the backyard and see what that looks like now. All right, so as we come on out here, you will see that we have the covered lanai 
and you do have a decent amount of yard space. So this is included in the base price of the property. So enough space for you to add a table and then a little bit of yard space. So I like it because it's enough yard space where if you do have kids, if you do wanna add any extra features like a fire pit, you can have it, or if you have any pets as well, but it's not ridiculous amount where it's gonna take you hours to cut the grass. As if you made it this far, then you wanna know about the numbers, right? The most important part. So right now with this particular community, if you can close quickly, which means 30 days or less, then they are offering interest rates under 6%, in addition to that, $7,500 towards your closing costs. And if that's too quick for you, that's okay. The build time is eight to 10 months and they are offering $20,000 towards your closing costs. The HOA fee here is $121 a month. They do have a pool, a playground, and they have a cabana and they do not have a CDD fee. If this particular area or this community doesn't work for you, don't worry about it. Go ahead and watch some of my other content. And of course, until next time, I'll see you around.